marketing and advertising is all about capturing attention. Welcome to the We Are Slam show where we share marketing agency insights, ideas, and best practices to help your business grow. My name is Tyler Kelly. I'm the co-founder and chief strategist at Slam Agency. And today we're going to take a look at the potential death of traditional marketing. Now we're one week removed from the Kansas City Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl, as we all know, is that mecca. It's that event where traditional marketing reigns. Millions of dollars. I think they said 30, 30 million plus dollars to get a spot on this year's Super Bowl. And if you're not familiar with traditional advertising, then you might be asking yourself, why do brands spend that much for one commercial on one night? And here's the answer. The answer is because people are paying attention. It's the one night every year where as a marketer, as an advertiser, I can guarantee that people are going to see my commercial. And at the end of the day, marketing and advertising is all about capturing attention. So why spend $30 million plus on a Super Bowl commercial? Well, here's why. Because people are paying attention. So we started the show with this idea of the death of traditional marketing. And you're probably thinking, okay, so $30 million Super Bowl commercial, this is traditional marketing. Well, that's not dying. But when I talk about traditional marketing, I'm talking about the other 364 days of the year. And on those days, you have to ask yourself this question. Are people paying attention to my ads? So what is traditional marketing? Well, obviously, it's television and radio, print and out of home, billboards, signage, the types of things that you see out outside of the home. We would call these things mass media buys. It's also cold calling and Spam email, right? Now, spam email wasn't around 50 years ago, but when we think of traditional marketing methods, spam email is definitely in that boat. Why? Because it's this idea of mass media to this large demographic, this large group of people who may or may not be paying attention, but more, more than likely, the goal of your advertising, the goal of your email spam, the goal of your cold calling telemarketing, the goal of your television or radio commercial is to interrupt this person, whether or not they need your product or service in that moment or not, to interrupt their thinking, to interrupt them in that moment and try to capture their attention. Does it work? Well, here's the thing. What we're finding out is that it doesn't work because people have more options. So let's think about where we are today. Number one, the internet is full. You know, they say 60 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every 60 seconds. More than 4 billion pieces of content are uploaded to the web daily. Friends, face it, the internet is already full. It doesn't need more content. On top of that, everyone is busy. A recent study came out said that professionals spend 51% of their time managing information rather than acting on it. And marketing is noisy. Now, we all know that you know, there's studies out there that say that 5,000, 10,000 advertising messages every day is what we're confronted with. And when I think about this, it's like, really, did I see 5,000 advertising messages today? Well, the fact is, I didn't remember seeing those. I don't recall those ads, even though that they might be out there, they might be in my awareness. I don't recall them for this simple fact. They're not relevant to me, and therefore, they're not capturing my attention. So this traditional model, this traditional marketing that we all grew up with, James Stingle, CMO at Procter & Gamble, says that this model is now obsolete. And I love quoting James Stingle, and here's why. Because at Procter & Gamble, they're one of the few companies that have remained on the Fortune 500 for over 75 years. A Fortune 500 with an average lifespan today of 15 years or less. And that lifespan continues to decrease, which means that a company that can stay on there for so long is obviously doing something right. They see the writing on the wall, they pivot, they change course, and they make the changes necessary to compete in the next generation. Now for this generation, we are in a very special time. For the first time ever, 
this year, 2020, the start of the new decade, according to CNBC, this year will be the year that digital advertising overtakes traditional advertising. In fact, they're predicting that 51% of all advertising spend will be in digital mediums, digital channels. And for those of you in the B2B world, you know, th this is this is affecting you as well. You know, a few years ago we could say, well, you know, this was something that was happening with consumers, you know, amazon.com, it's all B2C, but what we're seeing now is that people are people and they expect to do business in a certain way whether they're in their wearing their consumer hat or wearing their B2B hat, okay? And so what we're seeing for the first time this year at the start of the new decade, 2020, for the first time, we're seeing that B2B e-commerce sales are expected to outgrow B2C e-commerce sales. Now, isn't that interesting? It's interesting because what it shows me is that no matter what, there's no turning back. We've hit this tipping point where digital will overtake traditional this year and every year hereafter. And what that is going to do is it's going to mark the death of traditional advertising. Now, we're in election year, so we're going to see a lot of advertising increase on the traditional side. And what that's going to do is it's going to push vendors that were able to compete in local television markets online. It's going to push them to a Facebook. It's going to push them more into PPC and more into social advertising. And if your business, if your brand is not aware of this and is not doing what it needs to do right now to get in front of people online, you're going to miss an opportunity because this is where attention is. Remember, it's all about attention. Super Bowl commercials work because people are paying attention. So the question you have to ask yourself with every ad that you buy is, are people going to pay attention to this ad? How do you get people to pay attention to this ad? What are they doing in the moment that could distract them, that could keep them from paying attention to this ad? You have to think through these things. You have to think like, you know, what is my potential buyer doing? Am I putting an ad on Hulu when my user and my potential buyer is on their phone? Because see, that attention is fragmented. There might be a bit of attention on the television screen or you know, on the media device, but most of the attention is on the phone. So do you really have their attention? These are the things that you have to begin asking yourself before you place the media. And don't think for a minute that it's all about placement. Placement is just a small piece of that calculation of that algorithm that you have to compute on your own. The other piece is understanding what motivates, what captivates, what inspires your buyers. How is it that you're going to grab their attention through the content that you produce, through the message that you proclaim? How is it that you're going to, for that second, get them to look up and notice your brand? These are the things that you have to think about. And if you don't know the answer to that question, the reason you don't know is because you don't know your buyer. Go back through, you know, however many, you know, episodes we've we've produced up to this point, and we always say that you have to know your buyer inside and out. This is your number one priority as a marketing director, as a business owner, as a founder. If you don't know your buyer, you're just guessing, and guesswork in today's day and age is not going to have the results that you need to survive and sustain business success. And with that, I want you to remember this, that before you can sell anything to anyone, you first have to have their attention. Remember that, and it will take you far. Think about how I can begin as a marketing manager, as a marketing director, as somebody that's writing the script. How can I begin to capture somebody's attention? If you can figure that out, then you're way ahead of the game and you're going to do very, very well. All right. So questions, comments, I am happy to help. We are happy to help. You can find us at slamagency.com. If you visit the website, go up and click the free consultation button. And when you click that button and type in your information, what's going to happen is you're going to have a direct line to me. I'll set up a call and we can walk through and we can talk through some of these things. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and review, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just watched, subscribe, then hit that bell. You'll be the first to be notified when new content goes live.
After that, you can watch more videos from Slam Agency. We've picked something we think you'll love.